Okay, so we look at uh, Excel loading, which is the PX value at 2,500. And then we have our moment. Okay, we have our moment at the Z, which is equal to 1,500. And we have to multiply by 12 because this is in feet. Okay. So we have to change them to inches. So this is equal to 18 times 10 to about three uh, pound inch. Okay. Why we have to convert from feet to inches? Because our stress value that's been quoted to us is in pounds per square inch. So everything has to be inches. Okay. And over here, because the moment is applied, uh, when I say over here, I do apologize, the one that I'm highlighting down here, the rotation is applied on our centroid. Okay, So this is where we call our torque in the x direction. And this is equal to 2,300 multiplied by 12. Okay, So 230 times 12. So it's equal to 27,600 uh, pound inch of torque. Okay. So now, once we have all this, we are going to look at the micro. So this is macro, micro scale on how it feels. Okay. So let me elaborate. So what we are going to do next is we are going to position elements. So we are going to position four different elements. So this is our this is our element A. Over here, I'm going to put our element B. Down here, our element C. And over here, our element D. Okay, so we have element a b c d so i'm going to draw this out now okay I'm, I'm i'm going to draw this out now so we are going to have so i'm going to draw the shaft okay so this is our shaft and i'm going to draw our transformation so we know that this is our y we know that this is our z right then we are going to position our elements so this is our element a then we have our element b element c and then we have our element D, okay, element A, B, C, D. So I'm going to create, we are going to create a, a table now. Okay, we're going to create a table. So the first one, we have it as our element. One, we have our element. A, B, C, D. Okay, that that is our our element A, B, C, D. Okay, then we are going to we know that the element is loaded axially, right? We know that stress. Okay, one of the stress is equal to px over a right so this is caused by excel loading okay so regardless of whether is element a b c d the px over a the 2500 is going to induce compression and all the elements are going to 
C, the compression of minus Px over A. So which element is more critical to axle loading? None. All of them carry the same load, which is Px over A. Okay. Now watch this. The next one, The next one is going to be the stress, right? The stress, which is equal, induced by the moment. So the moment is in the z direction. So mz over izz multiplied by y. Okay, multiplied by y. So this is due to the bending moment. And then later on, or, or, or next week, or this week, I'm going to teach you a unique thing that I discovered. Okay. So this is the direction of MX. Okay. So this is direction of the MX. The head of this arrow right, will induce what we call compression. And the tail end will induce a tensile. Okay. So if you see how the moment vector has been drawn, right, you can also mimic this that you will know that this will be in compression. Or this is your M z in compression over here will be your what tensor okay. so if we were to look at the formula m z i z z y y is relative to the centroid okay so i'm going to sketch the centroid axis now and i'm going to sketch in green Okay, so this is the axis is going to be relative of, and this is your y value, or going downwards is your y value. So uh, down here is your y positive, down, uh, going back up is your y negative. Why is that? Because this formula theoretically has a minus sign, okay, theoretically. But I don't want you to worry about the sign for now. So what you see from here is a very interesting thing that happened now. Okay. So what do I mean by interesting, right? So you know at element A, you are going to have mz multiplied by y over izz, element A. Because your y displacement is y negative, negative, neg multiply negative becomes what? Positive. At element B, due to the bending load, the shear, uh, the, due to the bending load, the normal stress is equal to zero. Why is that? Because y is equal to what? Zero. Right? Why is it zero? Why is it negative? KT is the, is the form of the formula that states that stress z or, or, or the normal stress is equal to minus mz over i z z divided by y. But for now, Katie, I don't want you to worry about the sign. I have a better way to help you remember or analyze. Okay, so don't worry about it. Okay. At point C, what we have now is is going to be in what compression? Why? Because this is compression, right? At point C is where the compression is. So this is going to be minus m z y over i z z. And at point D, what you realize that the normal stress is again equal to zero due to bending because Y is equal to zero. So now this appears to be very transparent now, right? By looking at the normal stress alone, can I ask you all, right, where has the highest stress magnitude? Element A, B, C, or D, anyone please, which one? No answer, I'm the only one in class. Sorry, did you say the magnitude? Yeah, which one have the highest magnitude, A, B, C, or D? 
A and C. A and C. No, the answer is C. Why? Is because of this. If you look at A, right, the normal stress due to axillary is negative. The normal stress due to bending moment is what? Positive. But if you look at point C, they are both what? Negative. So it's going to have the highest magnitude, right? Yep, my bad. Yep. <laughs> no, Tyler, there's nothing good or bad down here. Okay, we learn. Okay, so do not apologize. Yes, Tyler. Okay. Now, then the next thing we are going to look at is the due to the torque. Okay, due, due, due to torsion. So the next one, the shear stress is equal to TR over J, okay? And this is due to the torsion, right? This is due to the torsion. So when due to the torsion, you can, you can, you can see that all these are all what? They're all what? TR over J, TR over J, TR over J, TR over J, right? Straightforward. Now, there is another stress that I don't, I don't think 2P, uh, you all were taught a lot. You all were given an introduction, and this is due to the shearing stress. Okay, so the shear stress can be equal to VQ over IT. Okay, and this is due to the shear force. Remember, I told you guys, you guys learned uh, how to draw shear force and bending moment diagram. Okay, what is J? J over here is the, no, don't be sorry, uh, Katie, is the polar second moment of area. Okay, it's usually for, for the, for the, for the shaft. Okay, <laughs> forgot to be. <laughs> That that is why this this subject okay this course the the link to two p is very high but don't worry I'll help you remember them okay okay so now let's say okay just just an example okay we have a a a, a force coming down vertically okay and this is your v y okay that is your v y okay so this is something new that I add. Okay, so we have a force coming down down here, and this is our by. Okay, so don't worry about this first. Okay, but I'm going to tell you that the vy at point A is zero, at point C is zero, at point D is bq over it, and at point D is also bq over it. So now by looking at this is quite uh, worrying, okay? Which element has the, high, has the highest stresses acting? Now you have, you have different stresses coming now. You have from axial load, right? You have from axial load. You have stresses from bending moment. You have stresses for torsion. You have stresses for shear, okay? So, which one should we look at, okay? So if we were to pick, okay, the number one choice to pick to analyze the shaft is point C, okay, point C. So William asks, is the Y minus Y plus written wrong compared to the positive negative moment? Uh, no, it's correct, William, because when Y negative, over here is going up. When you plug into the formula, it becomes positive down here. But William, don't worry about the positive and negative. As I say, I have a better way for you to learn about moments. So I don't want you to worry about it for now. Okay. So the next thing that we 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 look at, okay. So if so element C is the number one point I will pick. Okay is because it has the highest normal stress acting. Okay. Now, whether uh, the next point I will pick is either B or D, okay, which I don't know yet. Okay. Later on, I'm going to draw a few graphs, then I'll know. So the next one in terms of shear is, is this value, 
Okay. Now there's a positive, negative. We don't know yet. Okay. So how do we know? Okay. So the next thing I want to do 